Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Here's the senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. It's a game called Phantasmal. I actually played this like many, many, many years ago. Five, to be exact. But I was actually playing it again some months ago and then started thinking about it because this is... It's gotten better than it was. There's a lot of stuff I don't understand. But you're a private investigator. There, you're in the walled city of Kowloon that's supposed to be being I'm not sure evacuated. There's there weird stuff talked weird about. And sounds in the lower evicted levels. My cousin Ta and, and this is like stuff that I've... Something deeply well, wrong about this place. Most of the people on this level should have been evicted already. Yeah. So, we're going to close that. And you've got like a... Somewhere there's yeah, like your... I can't. There we are. Jay brings that all back up, so that and you can jump and all that. And it's a lot of things I don't understand because it's like you can interact here, but you gotta have money. But when you just start like this, you don't have money. So why can you interact with the vendor? So this is just to get you started and get you there. Okay. Now, the game is... I... whoops. The complete eviction of the residents of the Kowloon Walled City. Yeah, these are the... Almost complete. Only the stragglers. Only stragglers remain. Once they are cleared out by the authorities, demolition of the structure will begin. Yeah, because in the real world, of course, the Kowloon, the walled city, was torn down. So. And I don't recall any place ever having, like, elevators like this in real life. I could be wrong. But. So if you, you can hear that sound, and you gotta always be moving. Because if you're not moving, if bad things will happen. Did I? Okay, I've already got my, my plank. There we are. Is there a button I can press on anything here? Lots of planks. That's good. Oh! I don't know if I should have killed him. Oh, here comes somebody else. Well, they're kind of... Kind of coming in my direction, so... Let's break this, this, this thing. Really? I can't break it? I want to... Okay, it finally broke. Now I've got one that's not broken. Okay, you guys stand standing around and causing issues. But you see, I hear this, so this is the way out. And I recognize these stairs as, as oh, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to lead out now, does it? I mean, it will, just... How quickly, I don't know. Hello? Okay, there we are. Okay, I hear that... Well... Come on now. Incense. This is a very unpleasant place. I I don't think I like it. But that kredik 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 sound is the locked. Well, I don't have a key then, do I? Stairs down. Okay. I don't hear the 
Well, this is... This is... This is a weird looking place. Okay, and it does... I can hear the sound. Hey, you're not supposed to be that fast. Hey, buddy. I saved you. Give me the sanity pills. There. That was a terrible sound. Okay. I don't know how to go through my items, though, unfortunately. More sanity pills. Okay, I hear the, the sound of... Ah. Uh. Hey. 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 Stop hurting me. I'll walk on you if you do. I can hear that we're getting closer, though. Along with that squishy sound as they de -res. This is a heck of a set of elevators now, isn't it? Oh, I got an itchy nose. Oh, very itchy nose. How these nose? Is that it? Oh, wow. So it's like I could go and ex... No real reason to explore this area, though, is there? Aside from, like, to maybe turn on a light. Kind of gross with all these body bags and stuff. Okay. Well then, I don't think it's addicts that are things we have to deal with. You got like health pills? I don't like this place. It's pretty crazy. Really, I got a duck to hit the light panel? Right. Right. I can deal with that. I I just started to wonder how am I holding on to this flashlight when I've got both hands on this Oh my god. I do not know why, but it feels like I've got a whole cat stuffed right in my nostril. Right here. Right at the juncture between my nose and my lip. It's just itching like crazy. I see you there. Hey, how are you so fast? Hi. Oh, that's not good. I need to find me another another stick here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I got a stick though, so it's okay. I'm not quite sure where my stamina is on the marker. But that's alright. Hey people. And I use the term lightly. Yeah. Again, I use the term lightly. Oh, the light got knocked over. Or maybe? Okay. Just had to find out. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! an ugly thing. Huh. Okay. Can I, can I replace this, this one that's breaking? What was that sound? Okay. 
Oh my god! Whoa, I'm gonna die. Just leave me alone, all you things. Yeah, I'm not gonna survive this little encounter, I think. These things are terrible. And I'm I can't really see what's going on or hit them properly, so I am likely gonna die now. Especially since I have no weapon again. And they are everywhere. Oh, and there's a there's a thing. I'm going to, to perish here because I cannot see a thing. Hi. Pistol ammo. You know, I suddenly remember that there was like a pistol that I should have picked up. So I might as well perish now and then respawn. Well then, yeah, I forgot about that. You have to turn and look down at the ground and you can get the pistol. Then you also grab the stick and then I guess uh, you might have to grab that. I don't know. I feel really foolish that I, I didn't grab the pistol. Luckily, my goals stay the same. Now, the thing is, this is kind of a roguelike. In that it still did that again. I don't know how it backs me up like that. That's weird. Luckily, it doesn't do it very often. In that the inside of the city like this is going to be different each time you play. Whoa. Got stuck on the ground. Or in the air. I got stuck on something. So you can't memorize the layout. There is no layout to memorize. All you can do is try to... Oh my lord god. Come on now. Stop hurting me. There we go. Hurt me more than I like, but that's okay. Here, let's beat the stick until it, it goes away. Then I'll grab a new stick. Bingo. Okay, we've sort of been through one of these rooms before. That's a terrifying sound. What the heck is that? Oh, flare. Okay. What is making that noise? Okay. Alrighty then. And I never know where the opening is going to be, so I... freak out each time I have to come down into one of these areas. Okay, that thing needs to be quiet, but it's not going to. Sandy pills. Pipe bomb. I wish I could remember how to use things like that. But. Okay, there's another loud radio there. I say radio lightly, because that's not any music I've ever heard before. There is no switches anywhere. Okay. We have sort of seen this semi. There have been reports of a potent new drug that has flooded the streets of Hong Kong. Rumor has it that they originate from the Kowloon walled city. The drug known as Liao has the authorities deeply concerned. I mean, does that actually have anything to do with the story itself? I mean, I don't think a, a drug has much to do with what, like those gigantic death spiders and 
all the other horrific nightmarish things going on in this game. So some of the backstory is, you know, interesting, but I wouldn't say exactly necessary. It's amazing how light this place is, these tiny little rooms there, even when there's no, like, lighting. I mean, I guess there's the yeah, unlocked. So, the broad strokes of the place are all in pieces, but that doesn't even make sense. It's the minor details of all of it that that change between runs. If that makes makes sense. Okay. Kind of sounds like it's in this direction. Okay, I wish they had more like switches. Maybe. Sounds like it's getting louder. And there's a stairwell type thing, and that's usually a good sign. So... We... Stinky! I mean, what uh You just leave, like, corpses lying around? It's not gonna smell good. Yes! Now we gotta go down a level. Again. Is that like... Oh, cables and cords. Okay. Here we go. Again, it is my conjecture... Conjecture? That it's not exactly addicts we have to worry about. I have feet. Sort of. Look at the way I can spin without lifting my feet. Okay. Okay, what? What, 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 what has got me? What the heck was that? It was like a little bouncy skull thing. Isn't that special? I may be dying from lack of health already. I don't know how to get health back except by finding it, so this may have become an unfortunate short run. Just because I was hi hijacked, ambushed by a, a little floaty skull? Or maybe, I think my health may be okay if it's the red bar. That's a terrible flashlight. But... Okay. There we go. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> Jerk. Okay. There's just, like, stuff that looks like blood that might not be blood. I'll grant you that. Wait a minute. Oh. It's because of you. Well, that was bad. Yeah, I'm I'm hurting. And I need another stick. Great. Okay. I need a stick. I am I can't get past that thing at my feet. Run. You need a stick to fight. 
So get away from the things chasing you. And grab a stick. I am almost dead. I, and I still don't know how to use my other items. I don't even know how many shots I have left. But I've got a stick. Hey, buddy. You got a literal cloud of flies following you, so... Oh, you see those green tentacles? That's, that's a bad sign. So I need to be making some progress here soon or I'm just going to die. So hopefully I can kill this thing without dying too much myself. Stuck on it. I wish there were some like health items here. I don't know which which way is the right way. And thank you for having watched the first part of this two-part retrospective of a game played before with Phantasmal. Definitely a cool first-person stealth horror game. Thumbs up for that. Now I know the action cuts off abruptly because it cuts off abruptly. But while it does cut off abruptly, it doesn't cut off abruptly. Part two is gonna be tomorrow or the next day. Definitely a good thing. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing.